Welcome to the demo on creating a custom user interface with Excel ribbons for BPC. Well, one of the great features in BPC is that it has completely revolutionized the way that SAP in general interfaces with Excel. Most traditional SAP interfaces that use Excel really and truly do retrofit or embed Excel directly into SAP. You'll notice some of these things, such as within BPS, there was something called Excel in place that mounted an Excel console directly within a SAP GUI. Well, although that adds some features and functionality, it does not allow users to leverage the full set of functionality they've grown accustomed to within Excel. Now, BPC is very different in that it really is Excel++, where SAP has kind of flip the traditional thinking on its head and allowed Excel to be as rich and powerful as it is and embedded SAP into it by adding some features and functions into Excel versus trying to put Excel into SAP. So today we're going to go ahead and we're going to first create a report leveraging a dynamic template. And now that we've gone ahead and generated this report for ourselves, you know, the next thing that folks usually do after creating a report is embed some buttons, right? Which we could go ahead and very easily do by leveraging our developer tab and inserting a button here, which we could then associate with the macro. So let's do that. Let's create buttons specifically for spreading trending and weighting our data. So first, let's create this macro spread. So when I go in and build this button spread and I double click on this button, it's going to call a macro called spread that should have been generated for us within our workbook, but it hasn't, so we're going to create it. Going to create a new module, and we're going to put it in our subroutine spread. And this subroutine, very simply, is going to perform a simple task. It is going to call the standard SAP function for performing a spread, because BPC has provided us with this function already. Now that we're in the editor, we're going to go ahead and also add two additional macros, one for trending and one for waiting. Okay? There are also delivered functions for, um, for, for this that were given to us by SAP as well. Okay? So now that we've gone ahead and added these three sets of functions and pointed them to our standard MNU functions, there is a list of embedded VB MNU functions that are available with BPC on the help.sap.com website. So now that we've gone ahead and added these three macros, we can go ahead and save our template. And we're going to call this BPC Bootcamp Demo. Yes, we need to save it as an Excel macro enabled workbook. And now that we've gone ahead and done that, we can associate this particular, make sure that it's associated correctly with our spread macro. And now when we click on this button, it's going to launch the spread function that was developed for us by SAP. Likewise, we can insert two additional buttons one for trending and one for waiting. And we can see that the trending function is launched for us and that the waiting function is launched for us, giving us three of our forecasting functions that are embedded into SAP directly in this new variance report that we've created for ourselves. 
Now, in many cases, what ends up happening is end users really don't like leveraging all of this real estate uh, for that type of functionality, which is where the ribbons come into play. Now, you can collapse and expand your ribbon to give you the full, um, full real estate that you have within your spreadsheet. Well, many customers are building their own custom ribbons that have simply the functions that they require for their planning or consolidations process enhancing their overall usability because the features and functions they need are directly accessible to them without having to navigate through a series of different menus that may or may not be relevant to them. So how do we do that? First, we're going to go ahead and save our existing workbook and we're going to open up something called the custom UI editor for Office 2007. And from here, we're going to open up our BPC Bootcamp demo workbook. There's a series of samples that are delivered with the Microsoft Office 2007 custom UI editor. And we can go ahead and just choose one of those to give us a, a nice ribbon. Okay. Here we have to give a few names to some different elements within this generated ribbon XML. This ribbon XML is what drive the way that your ribbon will be viewed when you open it up in Excel. So we're going to call this the BPC Bootcamp ribbon or tab. And the label we want to show on it is BPC Bootcamp. And we're going to have a custom group here. This is going to be our BPC function group. And we'll label this as BPC forecast functions. Now we need to put in our three buttons to execute those exact same features that we embedded into our Excel application as Excel buttons versus ribbon buttons. What we're going to do Go ahead and change these to point to the three macros which we've created for ourselves. The macros that are executed are referenced by this on action attribute tab within the XML. So we know for spread, we're going to call spread. For trend, we're going to call trend. And for weight, we're going to call weight. We're going to make sure that the size is large for our icons, and we're, we're going to give them just kind of some standard MSO icons. Now, there's a series of different icons that you can use to really customize and give your workbook some flair. So now, in order to view our enhanced BPC workbook, we're going to go ahead and reopen up our BPC Bootcamp demo workbook, and we have a new ribbon here, which is labeled BPC Bootcamp, and we can see the three BPC forecast functions that we embedded into it. Our now we can see the three BPC Bootcamp buttons directly within our ribbon. The next step is we need to make a minor modification to our three macros and we need to embed um, a parameter which is control as I ribbon control. Now this is just a standard parameter that needs to be added to any macro you're going to call from a ribbon. Once we've gone ahead and done that we can save our macros go back to our BPC Bootcamp rib ribbon and test the functionality. So now we can see that when we click on the spread button from our ribbon, we get our spread feature, our trend button, we get our trend feature, and likewise when we click on our weight button, we get our weighting feature. 
So you can see already how the extensibility options that are directly within Excel allow us to truly enhance our BPC experience by connecting the enhancements within Excel with the MNU functionality within BPC. So all of these additional Visual Basic macros that are given to us to embed buttons and do all of these neat user experience activities, we can leverage from the ribbon as well to maximize our real estate and our overall usability of our planning and or consolidations applications. Thank you very much.